Right, this is all about interdependence and food webs. The diagram in front of you is a food web. It shows which organism eats which organism. So, I can see an individual food chain within my food web. The fox eats the hen and the hen eats the corn. I can see another food chain. The owl eats the mouse and the mouse eats the corn. So there are a number of different food chains within my food web and my food web shows which organism eats which organism. There's a term you need to know which is interdependence, which is the dynamic relationship between all living things. So my food web shows interdependence. The rabbit depends on eating the grass and the fox depends on eating the rabbit. We have different levels of my food chain as well. The bottom level are producers, they're plants. They make their energy by photosynthesis using sunlight. Then the next level up are my primary consumers. They eat the producers. And the level above them are the secondary consumers and they eat the primary consumers. The red arrows in the diagram show the flow of energy. Energy always flows upwards from what is being eaten to what is eating it. So always remember the direction of the arrows and remember that it shows the movement of energy. We can show the different numbers of organisms feeding each on each other in a food chain by drawing a pyramid of numbers. In the example here, we can see that one sparrow hawk feeds on 10 blue tits, which feed on 100 caterpillars, which feed on one oak tree. And you need to know that with pyramids of numbers, they're not always the shape of a pyramid. In the next clip, you need to look at pyramids of biomass and be able to compare them to pyramids of numbers.